What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve a system of linear equations by graphing. Okay, so there's basically three different scenarios that you're probably going to run into, right? So the first one is intersecting. So intersecting lines is literally just what it sounds like. Okay, so it's when two lines that you graph intersect at a single point. Okay, now since these two lines right here that we graphed intersect at just a single point, right? They only touch at one point. We say that intersecting lines have one solution and I'm just going to abbreviate solution right there. Okay. Now the second type that you might see are parallel lines. Now, when you have parallel lines, as you can see, they never touch, right? These two lines, as far as these graphs will go, will never touch. Okay. So since they don't touch at any points, we say they have no solution. Okay. And now the third type that you might see is coincident, right? Coincident lines are when you have two lines that are the exact same, all right? One literally just sits exactly on top of the other. Okay. And since they sit exactly on top of each other, how many points do they have in common, right? Where are they both touching? Well, they're both touching right here, right here, right here, right here, right here right? Since they're the exact same line, they're touching the entire time at every single point, right? They're, they're always touching each other. So in that case, we say coincident lines have an infinite amount of solutions. And I'll abbreviate that also. Okay. So I'm going to do one example of each one. So you know what it looks like. All right, so now let's start with this first example right here. So this one says solve the system by graphing, and then it gives us these two equations, right? Negative one third X plus Y is equal to three and two X plus Y is equal to 10. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is just graph both of these equations. And there's a couple different ways we can do that. But in this case, I'm going to use the slope intercept form or formula, which is Y is equal to M X plus B. Okay. So essentially I just want the Y by itself on one side of this equal sign, right? So let's do that to this first equation right here. So negative one third X plus Y is equal to three. Okay. Now again, I want to isolate Y by itself, right? So I need to get rid of this negative one third X. So I'm going to add negative one third X. Okay. And what you do to one side, you do to the other, right? So we're going to add one third X to this side also. Okay. So these one third X's cancel out. So we're just left with Y, right? Positive Y on this side. So Y is equal to, uh, and then I'm just going to flip these two. So it matches the slope intercept form. So I'm going to write the X term first. So I'm going to put one third X plus three. Okay, cool. So now that it's in slope intercept form, now we can graph it, All right? So remember in the equation, uh, this number at the end, the B, this is your Y intercept and this M is your slope. Okay. So on this equation right here, our Y intercept is positive three. Okay. So all you have to do is go along your Y axis and plot a point at positive three, which is right there. Okay. And now our slope here is one third. Okay. And if you remember the slope is equal to the rise over the run, right? And in this case, it's equal to one third. Okay. So that means we're going to starting from this point that we just plotted, we're going to go up one space and then go over to the right in the positive direction, three spaces. Okay. So again, starting from here, we're going to go up one and then go over three. So one, two, three. Okay. So there's my point right there. All right, cool. So I got my two points. Just got to draw a straight line between them. And there it is. Okay. There's my line right there. Okay, cool. So this line right here again represents this equation, the first equation, negative one third X plus Y is equal to three. Okay. So now let's just quickly graph our second equation here. So two X plus Y is equal to 10. So I'll just write that right here. Two X plus Y is equal to 10. Okay. So again, the first thing I want to do with this equation is just turn it into slope intercept form. So I just want to isolate the Y, right? So I just need to get rid of this two X. So I'm going to subtract two X, right? And what you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay. So then here, these two X's cancel out. So again, we're just left with positive Y. So Y is equal to 10 
minus 2x, okay? Or I could flip those, right? And I could write it as minus 2x plus 10, right? Negative 2x plus 10. Okay, cool. So now that it is in slope-intercept form, again, I can graph it, right? So again, this number at the end is your y-intercept, so it's at positive 10, right? So we're just going to plot a point at positive 10 right there. Okay, and then in this case, our slope is equal to negative 2, okay? But we can also write that as a fraction by putting it over 1, right? So negative 2 over 1, All right? So in this case, we're going to go down 2, right? Starting from this point, we're going to go down 2 and then over 1. So down 1, 2, and then over 1, okay? So here is our other point right there. Okay, so again, you got your two points, just draw your straight line. Okay, so as you can see, we have two lines. They're in completely different directions, right? And you can see that they intersect at a single point right here, right? So that means this system only has one solution because they only share, these two lines, only share one point in common which is this point right here, which is, let's see, it's one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, so this point is at three comma four, okay? So that means if you plugged in this point, three comma four, into both of these equations, both of these equations would have a true statement. They'd have a true answer. So our x coordinate right here is a three, and our y coordinate is a four, right? So let's plug in a three for our x coordinate and a four for our y coordinate. So then here we would have negative one third times x, which is three, plus y, which is four, is equal to three, right? Now here, negative one third times three, uh, that's just equal to negative one, right? So this three on the bottom and this three on the top cancel out, so we're just left with negative one, right? So we have negative one plus four is equal to three. Now, negative one plus four, that's equal to three, right? So we get three is equal to three, right? So that's a true statement. Now we could do the same thing, plug this point into this other equation. So here we would have two times x, and remember x is three, right? Plus y, which is four, is equal to 10, okay? So two times three is equal to six, and then we have plus four is equal to 10, okay? So six plus four is equal to 10, so we get 10 is equal to 10, okay? So this is also a true statement, right? So three comma four, this point right here is the only point on the entire graph everywhere that you can plug into both of these equations and get true statements, okay? So that's why we say that intersecting lines only have one solution. Oh, okay, so I know this was a lot. Let me know how much you despise math in the comments below. And then let's move on to the next example. All right, now that you're done using every cuss word you know in the comments section, let's start this second example. So this one says solve the system by graphing, and then it gives us these two equations. All right, so y is equal to 1 half x minus 3, and x minus 2y is equal to 4. Okay, so again, the only thing we have to really do is graph these two equations. Okay, so let's start with this one on top. y is equal to 1 half x plus 3. Okay, so as you can see, it is already in slope-intercept form. Yay, okay? So again, this number at the end is your y-intercept, so we're going to plot a point at positive 3, okay, along the y-axis at positive 3, okay? And our slope here is 1 over 2. So the rise is 1 and the run is 2. Okay, so starting from the point, we're going to go up 1 and then over two to right there, right? We got our two points. Let's just draw a straight line. Okay, so this line represents this equation. Y is equal to one half x plus three. Okay, so now let's graph this one right here. And I'll just write it right here. X minus two y is equal to four. Okay, so instead of using the slope intercept form uh, or formula for this one, let's just make a little table right here on the side. So we're going to make, make an x, y table like that, okay? So in this case, all you have to do is plug in numbers for your x and y, okay? And pick easy numbers, okay? So I'm going to plug in a 0 for x, right? So let's plug in a 0 for x right here. So we're going to have 0 minus 2y is equal to 4, 
Okay, so then this is just minus 2y or negative 2y is equal to 4, right? And in order to solve for the y, I just need to divide by negative 2 on this side. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay, so then these negative 2s cancel out. So we're just left with y is equal to 4 divided by negative 2, which is negative 2. Okay, so when x is 0, y is negative 2. Okay, cool. So we just found a point right here. So, so 0, comma, negative 2, right? So let's plot that point. 0, negative 2, right there. Okay, now let's just find one more point. So this time I'm going to plug in a 0 for y. Okay, so let's plug in a 0 for y right here. Okay, so I'll just rewrite this down here. So we're going to have x minus 2 times y, but again I'm going to plug in a 0 for y, and that's equal to 4. Okay, so here we're going to have x minus 2 times 0, which is just 0, and that's equal to 4. Okay, so x minus 0, that's just equal to x. So x is equal to 4. Okay, so we found another point right here. So whenever y is 0, x is positive 4. Okay, so now let's plot this point. 4 comma 0. So 4 comma 0 right there. Okay, cool. So I got my two points. Now I just got to draw a straight line. Okay, so as you can see from our graph, we have two parallel lines, right? These two lines will never touch at any point on the coordinate system. Okay, so that means there's no point on the graph that I could plug into both of these equations that would make both of these equations true. Okay, this system right here has no solution, and I'm just abbreviating. All right, so we're almost there. Let's just do one last example. All right, so here is our last example. So this one says solve the system by graphing, and then it gives us these two equations right here. Y is equal to 2x minus 3, and negative 6x plus 3y is equal to negative 9. Okay, so again, the only thing we really have to do is just graph these two, and let's use the slope-intercept form. Okay, so starting with the first one on top, we have y is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, so remember this number right here at the end is your y-intercept. So we're just going to plot a point at negative 3. Okay, so along the y-axis at negative 3 right there. Okay, and then in this case, the slope is equal to 2, but we can also write that as 2 over 1, right? So our rise is 2 and our run is 1. So starting from here, we're going to go up 1, 2, and then over 1 right there. Okay, so here's our two points. Let's draw our straight line. Okay, cool. So we graphed the first equation. Now let's graph this second one. So negative 6x plus 3y is equal to negative 9. Okay, so let's put this in slope-intercept form. So again, we just want to solve for y, basically. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the 6x by adding 6x on both sides. Okay. So then these 6x's cancel out. We're just left with 3y is equal to negative 9 plus 6x, right? Or I can flip this and write it as 6x minus 9, okay? 6x minus 9. Okay, now in order to solve for y, we need to get rid of this 3 by dividing by 3. And what you do to one side, you do to the other, right? And we have to divide everything by 3 on this side, okay? So then... These threes just cancel out, and we're left with y is equal to uh, 6 divided by 3. That's equal to 2, and then we just have the x, right? And then negative 9 divided by 3 is equal to negative 3, okay? So here the equation is y is equal to 2x minus 3, okay? Now, if you notice something, this equation right here is the exact same one that we have up here, right? It's the exact same one as this first equation. Okay, so the second equation up here, negative 6x plus 3y is equal to negative 9, it literally sits right on top of this other line that we already graphed, okay? So whenever you have a case like that where the two lines are essentially the exact same line, that is what you call coincident lines, okay? And coincident lines have an infinite, infinite amount of solutions. Okay, because the way you can think about it is how many points do these two lines, the orange line and the purple line, how many points do they have in common? 
Well, they have every single point in common, right? They both touch here, they both touch here, they both touch here, here, right? And it goes forever in that direction and in the other direction. Okay, so that's why we say two lines that are coincident, right, that are the exact same line, have an infinite amount of solutions. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.